Hey Europop? Here's Joe, with your latest Eurovision news. Last month, we contacted OGAE Australia to research our review of the OGAE Song Contest. They were really lovely and super helpful. The UK group have been really friendly too, so it's given us a bit of an idea. We're hoping all the groups are just as nice, and if they are, it will be great to talk to them all and get a flavor of Eurovision from around the world. Every Eurovision fan is waiting to see if Australia will be taking part next year. So, let's head there first. Hi, I'm Jay from Europop Fan. And I'm Jordan from SFAN OGA Australia. Uh, thank you for talking to me today. Uh, we better explain to everybody, better tell everyone. We did this all yesterday. And uh, I was really happy with it. We had a few laughs, a few ad libs. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. So, uh, it was great. Uh, we, but something happened at the end. I couldn't convert the recording, no matter what I did. And I did get some customer service from the guys, which was really good, but they couldn't do anything with it. The file was corrupt. So, uh, so yeah, but it's one of them things, isn't it? So we'll either be, uh, we'll either have a bit more banter this time around, or we'll be like, make it start <laughs> or something. <laughs> I've, uh, <laughs> I've heard people say acting's uh, probably not the dream job, you think. And, and I think I know why now. I mean, if, um, you know, you put everything into it and they're like, and again. And you're like, no, not again. So I can't imagine doing something for 27 times in a row. Oh, gosh, you'd lose the will, wouldn't you? So, uh, and uh, so, yeah, so we're going to give it one more try. And it's um, and it's Friday the 13th in October today. So, uh, so what can go wrong? You know what I mean? So, uh... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel so for my daughters as well, freak, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, like Joe probably said in her intro, Joe's going to have done a little intro for this. We're all waiting for uh, for news of Australia's um, future in the contest. Um, so, uh, uh, maybe they're just waiting for us two to give them the okay. So, uh, so yeah, um, go for it. You, uh, you're good to go. <laughs> if we say it's okay, they can uh, they can go for it, can't they? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's the logic surely yep <laughs> so uh anyway so um seeing as it's my first time here in uh, in front of the camera um um about explain who who we are what we're doing so uh we had the idea to launch this eurovision channel um at the start of the year um and we managed to find a name to uh squeeze in there at the table um not standing on anybody's toes and uh i don't think anyone's noticed it's uh maybe because we're sat on the uh the sofa cushions or uh or something, or you know, one day we might get onto the uh, broken footstool or the uh, the upside down kitchen bin. But uh, we're just happy to be here. So, uh, uh, and I'm Jay. Uh, I'm helping Joe with the uh, channel. Um, I'm still getting used to the idea of putting my uh, ugly mug online, but uh, I'll get used to it, or uh, rather, everyone else will have to get used to it. <laughs> anyway, right, enough waffle. Um, oh, so, so uh, congrats on the fab OGE contest uh, this year. Um, love it. Um, brilliant presentation. Some great tunes. Um, Really good. I think I've put quite a few views on that um, playlist there. So uh, uh, really getting into it. Some really funky tunes this year. Um, yeah, and I love you, your your home entry this year, um, Tylee. Um, excellent. Um, when I when I saw she had a new song out um, earlier in the year, I was I'd be like, you know, she's been releasing uh, music now for, for uh, five decades. And it's like, will it be OK? Is, you know, is it time she hung up her dancing shoes? But it's fantastic. You know, what about her? So uh, fair play to her. Um, and we were saying about those uh, um, a bit of a fun fact relating to the contest. Her and um, Johnny Logan, both born in the Melbourne area, so uh, nice heritage there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, something in the water in Melbourne. Um, definitely, Melbourne's the live capital, uh, live uh, capital for live music, I should say, in Australia. So, uh, definitely, um, definitely love live music happening there. Um, no surprises, Johnny and Kylie are both from there. Yeah, cool. Um, we noticed there's that. Uh, me and Joe noticed there's loads of connections to the actual Eurovision in, in the songs for the OJ this year. Um, I'm, I think it could be our favourite year ever, and maybe because of the break as well. Um, it's definitely a good cure for the blues. We had the, the post Eurovision blues big time this year. So, uh... yeah, definitely, yeah. So, uh, uh, it's nearly uh, so it's, it's nearly done this year. Voting's nearly closed, so uh, it's quite exciting. Um, quite nervous to see who wins. Uh, for the for the uh, song contest, yeah, yeah, um, yeah voting is yeah. absolutely. Uh, voting still open, by the way, for uh, most clubs, I think. Uh, so global voting closes on the twenty first of October. Um, if you are an OGM member of one of the 
uh, 31 clubs. Uh, do inquire with your home club uh, if you do wish to cast your vote. Um, better be quick, though. As I said, I think it's, what, a, a, a week left? Maybe a little bit over a week? Yeah, yeah. gosh, it's, it goes quick, doesn't it? Gosh. Mm. So, uh, uh, right, let's uh, let's talk about you you guys at Eurovision. Um, I, I think you've been amazing. You've had some excellent entries. Uh, your debut with Guy uh, in 2015, so funky. And um, it was great that we had 27 songs in the final, so a nice bit of history. Um, I, I always look at their back catalogue and um, his song, uh, Get Along, are oh, beautiful. Um, so moving. So, uh, yeah, I might put a little uh, link down there somewhere to it and uh, so people can check it out. <laughs> yeah, look at me, put into the screen. <laughs> so, so, and you nearly won the next year with, with Damien. It was uh, amazing. So, uh, um, I mean, she won the, um, was it the jury vote? But uh, And she and she obviously, she won her semi. So, uh, yeah, it did really well. Um, we we were talking yesterday that um, you guys sort of have to nominate somewhere closer, and you surprised me by what was discussed. Uh, could you share that with us again? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the deal, uh, whether that was applied in 2016 or not, is unknown to be honest. But um, the deal that our host broadcaster SBS made was for the competition to be hosted in Germany. Um, don't ask me why Germany. Uh, so they they chose Germany in some bizarre deal. Um, but it's yeah, so it's news to me. So that's brilliant. So it's nice. I don't know if that's an exclusive, but I hope it is. <laughs> but uh, I hope you don't get fired, although you don't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah no you've had some great songs um uh, 18 2019 i loved with that that big power note she did was amazing um and of course voyager epic you know so uh, um i made a little statement about them at the end of the video um yesterday and i've whilst it was fresh in my mind i re-recorded that so uh, i'll stick that on at the end but um yeah and obviously all our all our best to danny and his family so uh, so yeah um, we mentioned Johnny Logan earlier, um, but you're telling me there's actually been loads of Aussie representation at the contest that uh, people might not be aware of. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that there's a lot. So um, we were mentioning yesterday that there was uh, there's just such a rich history of Australia in Eurovision, not necessarily representing uh, Australia. Um, the biggest example probably would be Olivia Newton-John back in 1974 for the UK. Um, there's also Andrew Lambrew for Cyprus last year, Anya Nissen for Denmark in 2017, Gina G for the UK in 1996. Um, Alfie Alcuri and Anthony Clear tried out for San Marino a few times, uh, names you may or may not recognise, who knows. Um, an obscure one uh, we mentioned yesterday was uh, Jane yeah. Comerford. So, um, another, German, another German connection, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Another German connection indeed. So for yeah. those who don't know, uh, Jane Comerford is the lead singer of Texas Lightning for uh, who represented Germany in 2006. That was the very Western uh, Western entry. Um, and people don't know that that lead singer was, in fact, from country Australia. Yeah. yeah. Um, ad additional to that, uh, this year's uh, Cypriot entry, uh, Celia Capsis, is from here too. So uh, yeah, yet so, another, yeah. <laughs> so even if you're not in, you're already sort of in. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll not stop you, will we? <laughs> Even if you're not allowed <laughs> to represent personally, we'll uh, you know you'll find a way. <laughs> and, and to be honest, I mean, I, when um when I found out that Johnny was uh, from Australia, I was so shocked. I mean, uh, obviously he's not spent his entire life there, but um you know, so uh, yeah, you've got a you know, you've got a sort of right to be here. You uh, you you're not just sort of get crashing and have nothing to do with it, and you know you've screened it for forty years, and it's you know you've uh, I, I really value your um, your involvement and. Uh, I'm sure the EBU do as well. So uh, we'll see, you know. Uh, so um, talking about your club, what the clubs do, um, people might not be aware that you're all volunteers um, and, you you know, you give your time for free and uh, you all love the contest. And uh, could you tell us a bit more about what you do there, the clubs, et cetera? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, the OGA network is a fan club network of multiple clubs across the globe. Of course, a big portion of those are European, but then there are others that service non-European clubs like uh, Australia, OGA Australia. Um, in terms of what we do, we, as, as I said, service uh, the Australian uh, fans. Um, 
the idea of the clubs is to be a like-minded place for Eurovision fans of a certain region to uh, be able to hang out, uh, to speak about the contest, previous contest, any Eurovision news. Um, in addition to that, uh, they do uh, functions, events. Um, for example, we we actually brought Brooke out. Um, uh, Brooke, that's Irish uh, entry of 2022. She came out and toured the country, which was a lot of fun. Um, that's just a short thing of what we do obviously but um if you are interested in joining OGA Australia or even your local club um do go and inquire within of course with OGA Australia just go to our website yeah we had a bit of a bit of banter yesterday about Brooke um she gets that uh, she gets people saying that's rich to her all the time doesn't she she's driving her mad for bless her so uh <laughs> but uh yeah that's that's the rip um I was I spoke to uh one of our old entries Mickey French and um he had a song, don't play that song again. And obviously that's that's not worked out great because obviously people keep the match and she's like, oh, God, save me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't really forget, do you? But uh, that's fine, you know. So uh, I know you've got the uh, the, the ticket on there. Um, I, uh, I love your graphics do. this year, doozy. So uh, merchandise available. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. If you are interested we have, in we have, we've got one. We've got one mug. <laughs> Oh, let's hang on, bring it to the camera again. Oh, that's that's nice. That's yeah, really not nice. available to sell. We just it cost us a fortune, but well, not as it was. Um, <laughs> no, his daughter got it for her, and I pinched it. So uh, <laughs> I'll give it back eventually. So uh, yeah, we uh, I don't know. It's uh, you know one step at a time, isn't it? But uh, yeah, no, I lo I love the graphics. The uh, the it, what kind of bird is it on there? Like a cockatoo or something? It's um, it's, it's a uh, cockatoo. Called, yeah, it's called Doozy. Is it? Doozy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind. Um, I would have liked if you can lift it up again a bit. A bit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm just gonna see. Yeah. It. Now, I wouldn't. I, I would have quite liked if you did. You'd have done uh, a feather with a flag for each country. It would have been a hell of a lot of work. But um, but that would have been quite nice. Oh. But uh, maybe in the future. But uh, either way, though, it looks amazing. I love the presentation. So it's uh, uh, the video that we made. Um, it looks so good because uh, of all your lovely graphics. So uh, it's very kind Thank of you, you to let people use them and uh, to, I don't, I'm surprised that it didn't get more promotion, but I think, you know, people have got things to do and um, and it's not mega Eurovision. But if, if people realise how much links there are to the contest, it's virtually every contestant is, has got a link to the contest, really. So uh, it's quite good. So, yeah, I, th I think that's I think we're about there, really. Um, it was only a quick chat just to say hi and uh, check in with Australia and um, see if you guys, how you guys are holding up. You're not too stressed waiting for the um, for the news like we are. So, uh because it's hard, we, you know, we sort of, people presume that, oh, you'll know what's going on, but you're the same as us. You're like, we ain't got a Scooby, we'd, we'd love to know as well. And uh, so. Uh, I mean, we're on the edge of our seats constantly yeah. as well. Um, remember, we're working on a different timeline to the rest of the countries because we're we're a guest. So, yeah, yeah, uh, so we, 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 we could get it now. We could get it in a month. We, we just don't know. Yeah. I think, I think you've got room, though, because they're not on capacity. I mean, the. They um they allow for up to forty four and I think they're only on about thirty five thirty six at the moment so uh, there's definitely room if if you're allowed but uh, you know well see I think you know you can see how much you love it the um they should definitely should keep you involved and um, maybe they know that she'll keep winning because <laughs> I mean you've won your semis three times so uh, you know it's pretty strong for the amount of time you've been in there um I can't think of another country who's been um been that successful so quickly I mean Ukraine have done really well but. Uh, but yeah, no, you guys are really, uh, really nailing it, and uh, I'm thinking wins are coming soon if you carry on. So, uh, so yeah, um, so that's I think that's it really. Um, yeah, I think we've got there. I just hope this one records. <laughs> so <laughs> random, but uh, it's one of those things, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and chat to all the OGE clubs because um, and if I've ever asked a question, that everyone's been so nice and friendly and accommodating and making time for us. So. Uh, so yeah, and Anne, you've been lovely. Um, I don't know if we said your name. It's your Jordan, aren't you? So, uh, yeah, so uh, lovely. No, thanks. I uh, appreciate your uh, all your efforts. And um, yeah, I think we'll wrap things up. So uh, I'm going to uh, end this one um, and say goodbye and say thank you again. And um, just remind everyone that I'll be back again with a little message in a moment. So, and um, yeah, thanks so much. I appreciate it. So uh, bye from the UK. And bye from Australia. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words, if I may, about um, poor Danny, who's um, sadly been taken quite ill, um, the singer from Voyager, Australia's latest uh, entry. Uh, I'm going to try and speak from the heart and, and be myself. So uh, I'm going to go from uh, work me to, uh, I suppose, party me. Um, so give me one moment, please.
So we have some hair over to the side for Dan, for um, in respect of Danny. So yeah, I'd like to say the following, if uh, if that's okay. Um, but Danny, you really rocked my world. You uh, you're an innovator, and, um, an inspiration. Um, you work you work so hard for your band and uh, your legal work, helping people be together. Um, you've won awards and, and rightfully so. You've um, you know you've done so much for your uh, your country and um, for the music industry. Um, I was lucky enough to see the um, the breakdown um, at Liverpool, and um, well, it really uh, really blew me away. Um, amazing. So um, yeah, I hope you can keep rocking, my friend. But um, you've you've already given more than you've taken to this world. Um, like I say, you're an inspiration, and please know we all love you, and uh, we wish you well. Peace. That's it. Sorry about that. I don't know who that character was. Um, but yeah, sorry, Danny. How I'm, but we're praying for you and um, be strong. And uh, to all Europe Pop fans, um, catch you on the next one. Hi, I'm back again. I hope you enjoyed Jay's latest video. I thought he was so brave to put himself out there. And I agree with all the kind words he had for Danny. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you'll join me again. Until then, have fun, and whatever you do, make it pop. Yeah.